Hello, this is one of the episodes that I pre-recorded for my maternity leave. So this was recorded around November end of 2023. Love you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Circle Time. How are we doing? I hope you're all good whenever you're listening. We have two very special guests joining the circle. They have been here before and they're back for more because you all loved them. <laughs> I love them so dearly. Oh, round two. You too. Round Would you guys two. like to introduce yourselves to the circlers? Circlers. Sure. Hi. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. I'm Devin. I'm Sydney. And we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> yes, Devin and Sydney Carlson are here <laughs> joining us again. I I just couldn't resist. We I couldn't was, stay away. I, yeah, I needed you. you guys back. I know. We wanted um, to be back. So happy you're back. Right before we started recording, we were talking about how I apparently don't really know the truth <laughs> because I was saying that she's crazy and fun, just like sweet Daisy here, Devin's dog. Mm -hmm. And Sydney claims that she is actually not <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy nor or is she fun. She's just she's yeah. just simply Sydney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Sydney was a baby, my parents called her serious Sid because she was just always like she would be in one of those bouncy things mm -hmm. from the halt like that you put in the doorway and she would just be like straight no face smiling. like <laughs> <laughs> and I would literally lose it, like be crying on the floor, laughing at her. And she was just. <laughs> My mom also said when I was born, I like wasn't crying. Yeah. When I came out, I was that's just a, like. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, she okay. Oh my god! It's so like, you've always just been kind of like over yeah, it. I'm oh, it's like <laughs> it's like whatever. All, yeah. the, all of our baby videos and stuff. So he was like. I want to see and the Devin's camera. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hi, this is my sister, Sydney, and we are here. And I'm like, and Sydney's like, I want to see the camera. Like, flip the camera <laughs> the whole time. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, I'd love to get a little taste of that. Okay. I'm glad you see me at, like, the crazy parts, okay. though. You know? I, I think that you're so, <laughs> so funny. Like, She's hilarious. I tell everyone... <laughs> Everyone that asks, <laughs> Everyone. I tell. I'm like, you'll Everyone. never believe it. She's fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, I was actually thinking about this because I think you and Cody specifically, when I see you guys, you know, when you like are around someone that you know is funny and it makes you like, extra funny yeah. <laughs> like i know i can be funny around you guys and you guys are gonna think it's funny like, we, we really do like you know. I, I feel like sometimes people like i actually sometimes notice that like when people are around us they're like they're, they're like, trying out silly. Bits. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes i'm like okay cool uh -huh. and sometimes i'm like these are actually funny yeah and cody is specifically is very like they're not funny yeah like oh, we'll leave and he'll be like that was that wasn't funny, funny. But when we leave hanging out with you, we're both like, that's Sydney. Is She's a hoot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm extra comfortable around you guys for that sure. That makes me happy. And you yeah. know what? You have a gift. You're really <laughs> funny. She's really funny. You are. Yeah. No one makes me laugh that's really harder funny. than Sydney. She's like, whenever people are like <laughs> telling me that I'm funny, I'm like, I'm not funny. Sydney's the funny one. But it, do it just doesn't come out all the time around everyone, you know? So like, I don't know if people always like, believe that or see it themselves but i mean that's definitely all you guys get i feel like i'm honored to bring out that side of you, <laughs> you it's too. a real treat i wish we could say <laughs> she's selective with who she shows that like her real <laughs> what situation that we like were dying over one night i think we could i don't even know what it is but you could say it okay remember i'm not gonna say his name but he texted me like i want to play <laughs> 
I actually <laughs> completely <laughs> forgot about this. You know what I'm talking about. I know like, exactly I what you're talking about. I remember what you guys are talking so about. So, oh well, one time, Devin, some, for some reason, you, you weren't, weren't there. there. And Sydney and I just ran into each other out. And, like, yeah. it was kind of like mom wasn't home. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> I was out. mom wasn't oh. home. And so we were like, we can get so yeah. crazy. And you left us up to our own devices. And. <laughs> Things got fucking it got weird, weird, fast, like weird. <laughs> and we were like, we were trying, we were trying to set Sydney up with someone, with someone that like was just not. It was like more of a like, joke. It was like more of a joke for us. Yeah. Like, yeah. What if we set Sydney up with this person? But then like <laughs> we were like, what? But if, then like though? took it really seriously yeah. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's all she does is like every time she's texting with a guy, it's a bit. Like it's not. <laughs> She's it's all for her own like entertainment. Like she says yeah. the most fucked things to people <laughs> over text just to make herself laugh and to send us the screenshots yeah, of honestly, being like for the screenshot to send to my friends. That's like, it's that's but that's the beauty of it all. Yeah. Are you well, dating anyone? I was gonna say, well, I'm still single. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah. you'll once you find you'll find the right person and That'll then they'll love. like get the bit. Mm-hmm. The, she's You're too so funny. Right. So it's like when someone there will be a lot of potentials that sh- and she'll they'll say one thing and she's like, they don't get it. I can't. Like I can't yeah. even dive into it because they already made a joke that's just like not so not funny to me that she can't mm. even look at them. It's so not like, helpful when dating. Like I feel like I know off the bat if I'm gonna vibe with someone or if I think they're funny. And if not, it, it's just not an option. What's like yeah. the first? Like what's an ick <laughs> right off the bat that not someone funny. could do if someone thinks they're funny? But like what's and it's a like joke not funny that you would be like, no? Like can we get an example of one you were um, really into someone and then he said, oh maybe like a bad meme or something that they think is funny. Okay. Or like if you try to joke with them and they like don't get it, is that also... Oh, that's bad. But I Remember probably that? I no. probably wouldn't even get to my joke part. Oh, like, okay. Unless I'm like... Yeah. Remember that guy, though, that we were all like rooting for and then you had been texting for like a couple days and then I think you made a joke and he like thought that he caught the joke and he didn't get it. And no. then you were like, it's done. I can't well, even talk Well, if their Instagram him. like... Sydney has weird. a lot of boxes that need to be checked. If with, they like, try too what's hard the, yeah, on what's, Instagram, okay. like try like to selfies look too good. Or what? Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, like ideal guy has like no posts. Yeah. Right. Like, what's you your know what ideal I mean? guy? Yeah, let's start what's there. The, let's start there. Okay, let's I feel like this. we're like speaking into the universe. Yes. Let's manifest. What's your list? I was actually just talking about this the other day. Humor is definitely number one. Okay. Like when I look at if I could line up all the guys that I've been into in the past, they all look completely different. Right. But they all have like that one little like goofy part of them that okay. I think is funny. Mm-hmm. So they have to have that. Okay. And they have to like be into food. Okay. And like appreciate food. Mm-hmm. Like I, an ick for me is when men I don't, like, I don't know, just don't appreciate food like I do. No, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because you want to like Picky get excited eater. about like going to a restaurant yeah. or something. Food restrictions, like yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend's vegetarian. <laughs> so oh, that's, that's fine. fine. Is he? Yeah, but you're not obsessed like me with that's food. That's fine. Also, I, she, you kind of stopped eating meat when you I'm started dating now. him. That's beautiful. And it's that's been love. great. That's really, that is. I always end up with a picky eater. Which I'm like, <laughs> ugh. Really? But yeah, that's yeah, like fine. Always. Like you're totally you don't fine mind. with it. Yeah. No, I think it's like interesting. You're like, oh, he has I, like, like opinions. Find it cute. I'm like, yeah. oh my god, like Aww. it's so cute that you oh, hate that's this. That's sweet. I'm like meat. Yeah, <laughs> meat lover. <laughs> Aoli. Aoli. <laughs> okay, keep listening. Meat lover on the list. Okay. <laughs> um, a hard worker like understands work driven. and driven okay. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like passionate yeah passionate about something has an like strong interest in something they're passionate about okay like not just you know doesn't do much all day yeah just because I feel like I have a lot to do every day right. and it's nice when someone else also like you know understands that respects that yes, also has sure. that for going for themselves yeah and like that's pretty much it. Yeah, right, Sydney. There's that's like, like a thousand so other it. things. They have to have a good inst- like do the nitpicky. Well, things. okay, I'm saying Instagram like ideal doesn't care too much like about Instagram about like, making doesn't it doesn't even cool. have one or doesn't. I mean, that'd be awesome if they don't have one or like has one but doesn't post. Right. 
So a big goal of mine this year and also just like being a mom is to prioritize my mental health and make sure that I am mentally strong and healthy and like be the best version of myself that I can be for my son. And there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of chaos going on right now. And I just want to learn how to best cope with that. And I am so lucky to have found Cerebral, the perfect place for me and anyone who has set a goal to focus on their mental health this year. Cerebral is here to help you achieve your mental wellness goals with professional therapy and medication management support 100% online. You'll experience the all-new Cerebral Way, an innovative approach to mental wellness designed around you. You'll get a personalized treatment plan from a therapist, prescriber, or both in a safe and judgment-free space. You get an expert clinician working alongside you to craft a treatment plan that is tailored to your individual goals. So whether you're looking for therapy, medication management, or both, Cerebral has you covered. Cerebral also takes the worry away from finding the right provider and scheduling appointments, which is personally my least favorite part of all of this. They bring it all to you wherever you need it. To get started on your path towards better mental health, Cerebral is giving our listeners 15% off the first month of online therapy, medication, or both. So get started at Cerebral.com slash podcast and use code CIRCLETIME. That's Cerebral, C-E-R-E-B-R-A-L dot com slash podcast and use code CIRCLETIME to get 15% off your first month. Make 2024 your best year yet. Offer only valid on monthly plans. Other exclusions may apply. See site for details. Okay, so if you can't tell, I really am just looking for any and every way that I can make my life easier because taking care of Otis is our number one priority and the thing that we're most focused on, which means that things that we need just naturally fall off the to-do list, you know, which I couldn't be happier about because I love taking care of Otis, but I still need to eat and whatnot. And that is why I have been obsessed with Factor Meals lately. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day very easy. So no matter what tomorrow brings, I am ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to my door. With Factor, you have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. These are no prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, there's no cooking. And the best part personally for me is that there's no cleanup. I've posted these on my Instagram stories. So I don't know if you've seen them, but they are really, really delicious. And we've just been loving them. Factor meals have truly saved me so much time and stress the last couple months. And it's just so nice to have a warm curated meal ready for me that tastes good and is healthy with no work for me to do at all. If you want to try, head to factormeals.com slash circletime50 and use code circletime50 to get 50% off. That's circletime50. Head to factormeals.com slash circletime50 to get 50% off. So do you care if he's like has like mutual friends with you? <laughs> why, why am no. I always trying to say you with my brother? <laughs> You've said this before. No, I know. We've talked about like, this before. He, like, was <laughs> well, the guy who kind of looked like me. <laughs> like, has my eyes. Yeah. Like, if we got to be related. <laughs> no, oh, maybe God, I'm just imagine. being selfish because I just want to be Our like a sister. Yeah, you guys are. Well, you guys can be aunties either way. <laughs> <laughs> Our Thanksgivings would be so fun. So fun. I mean, being friends with my friends, I feel like is ideal. It's yeah. a big one because... You guys are all You're like really so close picky. Hit. No, when I was like <laughs> dating and I would bring anyone, they were so mean and would instantly be like, um, no, really? like making Not fun. Me. Yes. And literally they like. They just know how good you could do. Yeah. So it's like when you bring someone around, that's like, <laughs> like it's funny. <laughs> but but it, it's also probably annoying. It was. Yeah. I mean, granted. They were not, they were right. Like they were annoying. totally. Yeah. They just, yeah. Sydney, it's very like little things that will just ruin it for her. <laughs> like she's, it's like, but they, it's also, I hard. feel like you're not all either like they have to be super stylish. It's just like a type of person who yeah. doesn't like, like care. Like they do whatever they want and she like finds that in- attractive and yeah. inspiring. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I feel like all the guys I've, had crushes on are kind of like kooky and like a little different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I love that. Yeah. Do you yeah. do you approve of like any of the guys that she's had a crush on, Dev? <laughs> I mean, there hasn't been like. I mean, when was the last yeah. time you had a crush? She has crushes all the time. Not really. Like three in the past year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I know. Wow. Yeah, my therapist is like really pushing me right now. To date? <laughs> yeah. Are she you doesn't like, on like dating or anything? No, Sydney would never. I've had like Raya for so long, never taken it seriously, never like gone on a date from there. You okay. know, like sometimes my friends and I will go and just like look at people on there. No, right. This is what they do. But it's they'll never like been find serious. one of their friends will go on a date and they'll be like, Oh my god, it'll be so funny. Like you should come. <laughs> Like then yeah. we'll bring a friend and like they ended up they were supposed to go on a date with this one guy and then it turned into like a group dinner with five of them and they're mm. all like sitting there like yeah half, and we like, all were like let's all wear fur coats like as a joke and we all sort of like giant oh my fur god coats. this pro- poor guy <laughs> yeah know. maybe still, maybe like, you should he take was it still seriously. hitting me up after well, <laughs> no they all still are like she can be so mean and they're still like I'm not mean hey. though. Not I'm mean. not mean. You're not mean. She's you just funny. give him a hard time. I'm just yeah. like not taking it like serious, I guess. Right. Do you have any desire to? Yeah, I do. Like you want to be in a relationship. Yes. Well, if it were to happen with the person in my head that I'm thinking of. Yeah. OK, so you have a crush on someone right now. No, no, no. I'm the just type saying of the person. type of person. Oh, like if I were to find. I thought you meant like one specific no, person. Mm, mm, if I were to find that person. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. Yeah. But she won't <laughs> put herself out there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. And it's like even if mm-hmm. someone does ask her out on a date, it's like. That rarely We happens. have to like force you to go. That like doesn't happen. Well, because you're intimidating. Because she doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Which also is what my therapist has told me, but like, I guess it, I don't, I didn't really believe it. It's like, true. I don't see myself that way. I would say like I was intimidated by you guys, like when I met <gasps> you both for the first what? time. What? Really? What? Yeah, you guys are like what? so cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I, Kelsey, you're I, cool. Maybe you're met you at cool. different times. Probably. Well, Wasn't like, the first time we met, we were house. like dancing. For, yeah, when I met you, I was she, like, she we lives. were so always supposed to be friends. <laughs> yeah. It like totally made sense. So yeah. maybe I was just more intimidated by Sydney. Yeah. Sydney's a little intimidating, I think. I don't even know when that was, hmm. though. Like, I don't know when we met. I don't know either. But I, I wish I could see it, though. Me too. I would rewatch that. But I do remember when I met Devin for the first time, obviously, yeah. because it was like everything. Didn't, it was when I came over to your house. Everything felt so right in the world. Oh, no. Right. We were heaven. dancing, mm-hmm. was singing. Joyous. We just sat in the corner of my kitchen and just talked to Aww. only each other. It was beautiful. That's it was beautiful. perfect. I feel like I'm envisioning you and Sydney meeting and me being like, I love Kelsey. And Sydney being like, ah. <laughs> like it's giving like that energy. And it's like, she like ah. puts us together. Yeah, maybe. I don't know where we were though. I don't know either. Well, I'm just happy that we're all here. Me Same. too. We've made it. And I feel like once I give birth, Mm -hmm. like we got to start making some memes again. I know. I'm going to need like mom's (laughs) night out. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. And it's, well, we can go get you guys. We can go get martinis at Lucky's. And then you guys can make me like that. talk to a stranger. Like, yeah, we can inspire you know. Sydney. Yes, my brother yeah. will just randomly show up. <gasps> Go talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just I'll be like, <laughs> he's gonna kill oh, me. I feel like <laughs> Cody could have a friend for Sydney. I know. I feel like I like because that's have kind of know. like she, yeah. she likes a funny guy. Maybe yeah. he knows like some funny people. He know <laughs> we know so many funny people. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect yeah, you to we know just, funny like, people. I have like a list of funny people. Oh, wow. Okay. You would be on it. <gasps> oh my god. Maybe you both would. my other. <laughs> you, you both. Just so you know. But I know. I know that was a sympathy. Lot, but it's just fine. so you know. <laughs> You, you too. Devin is, <laughs> Devin is very funny, and I feel like she's gotten funnier. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> she has. Like, maybe since you've been dating Duke, which also saying I'm very picky with the people she's dated, I've never complained about Duke. I've never well, had because, any. Sydney's never been because this he's close. Great. Bad to say, because he's great. So. Well, Sydney's, like, friends with, we hang, like, this morning we did Pilates, me, Sydney, and Duke. That's beautiful. Twice a week. Yeah, twice a week we actually do Aww. it. But she's growling. I know. <laughs> I she's can hear the it. security. 
Big thing what does she see life. out there? I don't know. Everything. So Sydney of her. I know. So, it's so Sydney. <laughs> On intimidating. When? What? How long have you and Duke been together now? A year and five months. Okay. Wow. Almost a year and a half. Oh my God, time's flying. Yeah, I know. He's so great. I'm so happy. Thank you. I feel like the last time you were here, you guys had like just started dating, but you didn't. We weren't talking about it. We weren't oh, talking wow. about it. I think, yeah. He's been my friend for a long time, and he's just always been like the best. He's like so goat. Everything he you does is say. like perfect. He always says the right things. He always does it like everything the way I want it. Like I don't have to like. He's like my ideal person yeah, in every it way. Just, it just works. Like the way he just navigates like any situation, I'm just like, it's inspiring. That's I just, beautiful. I'm inspired That's by okay. him. I love his taste. I love his opinions. I love just hearing like every thought in his head. I love him. That's so sweet. <laughs> and, he, and he's really <laughs> nice. Really, really sweet. That, that I feel like it's, it's really hard to like be like vulnerable about like why you actually like the person I that you're dating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. If someone's like, why do you like Cody? I'm like, oh my God, I like Cody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, you I guys know you. I like him? Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> but like that's so, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's like, nice. It's nice. He's nice. <laughs> he's, he's actually really nice. He's like, very shy like he's not shy but he's like quiet yeah and selective with what he says right he thinks before he speaks he thinks before he speaks which mm -hmm. is the opposite of me yeah <laughs> so i learn a lot from right. him right. i think i right. think he's made me more of the person that i've always wanted to be like just the things that we do together and like i don't know he's like felt like the missing piece in my life for yeah a long time. that's beautiful great. Yeah. That's so amazing. You're so amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> you're I'm amazing. so happy you're in love. <laughs> Me too. That's I so want nice. Sydney to be in love. I want Whoa. everyone to be in love. I want everyone to be Sydney, happy. you could be in love and happy if you just let yourself. Sydney is in love totally. with herself. Right and that's now, a beautiful which is great. that's a beautiful thing to be. That's, that's beautiful. also the most important piece right there. Totally. Well, but, but it's, I just someone needs to get eat a little her, too comfortable. Someone needs alone, to eat her you know? delicious meals that she's someone been needs cooking. to eat my delicious meals. Can we talk about the meals for a second? <laughs> it's sure. insane that Thanksgiving this year was like the best thing. Oh my god! Ever, I'm sure. Okay, full transparency. You know, we are all about honesty here in the circle, and I feel like maybe a circler or two out there could relate. But I used to have the worst PMS and I would have just like such a rough week before my period every month there would just be a few days where I didn't feel like myself you know I'd be very irritable it was rough for me it was rough for the people around me honestly I'd have random food cravings I just felt off and then I found estro control Estro Control is a formula developed by Happy Mammoth, a supplement company dedicated to making women's lives easier. And that's really what we all want. For a limited time, you can get 15% off on your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use the code CIRCLETIME at checkout. Estro Control contains science-backed herbal extracts that help support hormonal health, especially in women who suffer from PMS. I tried a lot of supplements to help lessen my PMS symptoms and none were working. And I think what sets estro control apart is that the ingredients help support the liver. And that is actually where our hormones get processed, especially estrogen, which I didn't know before. So when the estrogen isn't processed well in the liver, women may start having PMS symptoms. I cannot recommend estro control enough. If you struggle with PMS, it really has taken like a worry off my plate and helped me feel myself all month long. For a limited time, you can get 15% off on your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use the code CIRCLETIME at checkout. All right, if you are a circler, I just already know that you're amazing and you're out there doing amazing things. And I really just want to encourage any of you, any of my sweet circlers who have a desire to put yourselves out there, you know, start a brand, sell a product, post content, whatever dream you're holding on to, I want you to just go for it because... I was the same and my life completely changed for the better when I put myself out there online. 
And I know what it's like to be scared to start because that's exactly what happened to me. And if you are ready to step out of your comfort zone, but still feel a little stuck or need a helping hand, I have the perfect solution. Today's podcast is sponsored by a service that I love very much that was so helpful when I was starting out, which is Squarespace. They are very beginner friendly. Trust me, if I can use it, literally anyone can. Very easy to use. Whether you're looking to sell a product, post content, grow a brand, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Squarespace makes it easy for you if you're just starting out with features like the flexible website templates with designs for any category you can think of that you can customize and update. My personal few favorite features are the video collection, the asset library, and the custom merch. So video collection allows me to organize my video content easily. The asset library lets me upload, organize, and access all my content in one place, which keeps things very organized, very easy. And the custom merch allows me to easily sell my merch to my beautiful audience. They just really make it so easy to create a beautiful website for any endeavor you are starting. Like I said before, if I could do it, you can do it. I was really scared to start because it just seemed so overwhelming, but using Squarespace made things so much easier. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash circle time to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Have you always been a chef? I've always been into food. Okay. Always. Yeah. Like, love food. <laughs> and when I just would have really good food, I was like, I wish I could make this. Right. Like, the fact that I can eat this deliciousness, <laughs> what if I could make this deliciousness right. for myself yeah. in my own home? Yeah. And that's what made me be like, I want to try and make, like, my thing is, like, comfort foods. Yeah. Like, just, like delicious foods yeah. because that's what like things like, you crave yeah that's what got me into like food in general right so those are like my favorite things to make I will say all I wanted when I was <laughs> pregnant I was like maybe I don't know how far along pregnant I was but like I wanted that <laughs> strawberry cake oh, that you made oh my god I saw you make it and then I was like that's the most perfect like that it looks so perfect <laughs> just and then a fork I was like, I need that. Cody can, Cody's like the chef yeah. out of the two of us. Aww. And I was like, I want like a strawberry shortcake. And he's like, okay, I'll find a recipe. And I said, no, 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 mm. sorry. <laughs> I want Sydney's <laughs> strawberry shortcake. It's oh perfect. Like it's perfect. And he was like, okay. So in our kitchen, you, your voice that, was just no, playing over and over again. No. And he watched, he watched it and he made Shut it. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I knew that for a while. And then someone like tagged someone, us in a story. Yeah, and and like, I was like, <laughs> wait, they made it? I didn't even know. I was like, Oh yeah, my God. no, we, I know, I, I didn't so even like happy. text you or anything. No. I was like, this is just for me. Just got eaten. Yeah, it was, but it was so good. It's so Thank good. You. What's your favorite thing you've made? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I was thinking about this the other day randomly. Like I made fried chicken and waffles okay. a while ago. That was just like so good. Thanksgiving, I did a lot of like sides. Your mashed Thanksgiving potatoes. was the mashed potato, <laughs> potatoes, <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> the mashed potatoes. I went back for like three. What was the special? No, like, what, do you have secret ingredient? <laughs> I don't think I have a secret ingredient, but you used I, a. I she didn't mash them hand. Did you use oh, a ricer? Yes, ricer. Yeah. I've First been time using this. that is crazy, and it's like fun. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. So they were like silky smooth. Oh my yes. god, they were insane. Sounds so cornbread. Good. I would have made cornbread right recently. Can you make us mashed potatoes. Yes. <laughs> Just like that's it. Yeah. On a plate. Bring them yeah. over. Yeah. Okay. We could sit on the couch and eat them. <gasps> okay. Mashed potatoes Martinis and mash. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Monday mashed potatoes. You guys potatoes can have the martinis. <laughs> After a post baby. Monday yeah, martini yeah, yeah. mash. Monday martini <laughs> mash. That's so Wait, weird. That's a I love. Really good idea. Mm hmm. MMM. Monday's martini. Mash. Yeah. Oh wait. Well, mashed potatoes are one of my favorite foods. So. Yeah. Me too. Mash. Not surprised. Of course. Mm, <laughs> of course. What are your thoughts on like a French fry versus like a sweet potato fry? Whoa. You know, Whoa. I I've never been like a big sweet potato fry girl. Uh huh. I only like them with ketchup. <laughs> oh. Specifically, like mm -hmm. I I don't love them. I love them with ranch. Ranch. Okay. I think any sauce. The first time <laughs> I sauce. ever had a sweet potato french fry, I'll never forget, was at the Magic Castle when we were like 14 Ooh, or 15 wow. years old. 
I don't remember. That's a flex. Yeah, and that's like I remember flex. wanting French fries, and they were like, "We have sweet potato fries," and I was like, "Huh?" Ew. Like, and it came, and they were like bright orange. I didn't really experiment. We didn't really experiment with food. <laughs> I no. I didn't. L- I remember. I don't know where I was. It was like some. It, maybe it was like the habit or something. Oh like my habit God, the burgers. habit. Like, Do you school. know what I would get from the habit, which is kind of Stop. disgusting? Wait, in is high it, school. Is it the teriyaki <gasps> one? Wait, that's what it was. Like yes. a Caesar salad <laughs> with teriyaki, teriyaki oh, chicken. No, that's not <laughs> and what I would get. And the chicken was like <laughs> saucy. It. it was like, wait, wait, it was like a, you get a full Caesar, Caesar salad. With but we would add dressing on the with, Caesar already. With dressing, like, fully dressed with a teriyaki chicken covered in teriyaki That sounds kind of good. It was... I got Delicious. we would get that there was a shopping center where we grew up and we would either get Subway which or it was just turkey and cheese but we would get a foot long each but you get a foot long with just turkey and cheese double du- turkey double, double cheese. turkey double no. cheese <laughs> any like toasted. sauces or anything no, no. no. guys toasted <laughs> that's nuts it's sick <laughs> and then we would get an orange <laughs> was so good though orange on appeal. wheat bread <laughs> on wheat bread yeah orange Ew. appeal from Jamba Healthy. Juice with extra ice in a power cup power you know there's a power <laughs> size we ate that bigger every day bigger than the largest size it's called power yeah what a jamba? Each. Yeah, oh, you know yes. it's just jamba now. Uh, no juice. Drop the that's juice. That's a little yeah, weird. I know it's crazy. I'll Wait, okay, that's so a jamba. wild order. I know. Just both of those, yeah. and then the Caesar and, and, then and the, the Caesar. Caesar. But I we used to think that we were like chic, eating good. Yeah, like we weren't. Good. It was I mean, small like, town. It, we didn't like. Italian small food was like not like town. I don't think we <laughs> thought that like small town, small town okay. you know right, yeah small town small, you know? town small town small <laughs> town we we would like I don't oh, think I went God. out to eat for a, Italian food like we went out to eat Italian food Cheesecake Factory oh I mean Cheesecake Factory yeah. is phenomenal uh, phenomenal well, there's nothing like it no what was that Italian place next to Chili's Olive Garden. It wasn't Olive Garden. It started with it, maybe it was like next to Maggiano's. Oh, what? Maggiano's <laughs> is, is a and classic. I remember being like, <gasps> I would mm-hmm. go to Maggiano's tomorrow. Oh, also, yeah. we, like my family would go to Maggiano's all the time. Oh, mm-hmm. Maggiano's was, like, was the place was the to be. Oh my god, that was like if it was like a we were celebrating something. It was At, yeah, Maj, Maj. Obviously. <laughs> or um, BJ's was like oh, BJ's was big. dinner. Oh my God. Like, I would get dressed up and like put on heels yeah. and go to BJ's. After my recital, Jeffrey Campbell like, yeah. 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 We would act like we were Going like. To BJ's. BJ's no, was like. Get a like in our 20s. No. Oh my God. I actually have been saying recently I want to go to BJ's and get the deep dish pizza that's like this deep. Uh, I, you and know, a bazooka. I would go with you. Okay. That sounds amazing. Wait, that'd be so fun. Maybe we should that do that. That would be really fun. You know Where is there like, a BJ's around here? There. There's not around here, but there's one in They're like, around. Did there's one go- in Thousand Oaks. Yeah. yeah. We could go to our like. That's the one we yeah. used to go yeah. to. That was ours. <laughs> Did you know that? I don't know if this is real or not, but me and Sydney used to always say that the most unhealthy like. No, it's a fact. It is. The, un- <laughs> the unhealthiest side in like the entire world was the smiley, smiley face, face fries. french fries from BJ's. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know they had those. It like won an oh, award for the most unhealthy uh, really? side. Yes. <laughs> like in, in any restaurant ever? Yes. Where did, what award? <gasps> yes. I don't know, but me and Cindy would literally <laughs> always be like, you're getting all this. Yeah, That's and so then get the deep dish pizza and a bazooki. get the bazooki. <laughs> <laughs> and then get double cheese, and double, double turkey, cheese, double Subway, turkey with the power each. size jump. <laughs> but long each. We were dancing like two hours a day. No, maybe four sometimes. I'm. F- you guys, you didn't have to be <laughs> dancing to order. That. I'm just. I still it's, 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 long, it's, dude. It's more <laughs> just bodies. the fact that there was nothing else on it. No. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, I was. We were. I think we were picky because we just didn't know. We like, didn't I try. never tried ketchup until like I think last year. Yeah. That's insane. I think we used to be way more picky eaters, but since I got like into food, yeah. I'm like, I am living one life right now. Why right. wouldn't I try anything at least once? No, like, I, what I is the point of not trying well, something? Like, I say I agree, but I'm actually like a pretty picky eater. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like really? I, I'm like so terrified of getting food poisoning. Mm. Ugh, worst thing. But in that's the world. like bad, bad food. No, I Rotten know, but food. like I, it's it's always. <laughs> It's just it's always a thought. If something kind of grosses you out, it's like, well, it might get me sick. Yeah. Since exactly. I've been pescatarian, I've had that fear less. 
See, I I don't eat a lot of meat because I'm scared of getting sick a lot. Yeah, I tried barnacles recently. Ew, Sydney, what? But how do you even eat a barnacle? Oh, wait, is that from Dudley Market? Yes, it looks like a you little... You guys go there all the time. It is so good. I know, that's it's my probably old close by you. Well, I moved, I oh, but, yeah. but yeah. It, they have it barnacles, was. and they and look they look disgusting. They look like mini, like, wieners. You huh? could say like wieners this, loud, Okay, loud. they're mini wieners, like this big. <laughs> but they don't taste Like bad. wieners? They don't taste like wieners. <laughs> what do they taste oh. like? Just like fish. Like popcorn? Is it like popcorn. fishy, fishy, though? It's a little fishy, yeah. See, I but it looks worse. I don't love that. I think the reason, like, I like watching your cooking videos, and I like watching Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, watching yes. her eat. And I think it's because, like, I get so scared to eat so many things. <laughs> yeah. That like, and, and you guys like, are just like enjoying yourselves, and I'm like, what's it like? So inspiring. Well, it it actually is. <laughs> it, it genuinely is it, like, inspiring. It's a true joy for both of us. Like eating yeah that's really what you guys bond over yeah like she's like my food soulmate that's beautiful maybe you you guys are really soulmates probably maybe (laughs) that would be that would be so easy (laughs) drew is like her real soulmate yeah so drew yeah gay soulmate food soulmate and then there's like you're still looking the other one to fill in that last (laughs) one yes do you need it those are the three you need only Yeah, yeah gay food and then like like romance. love. You have yeah. your sister soulmate as well. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> would you count? Would you count that? Well, she's like my like blood, built in. You know. Yeah, but you guys would be friends if you weren't sisters. Do you actually have you ever discussed this? Do you think you would be friends if you weren't sisters? I think like currently yes, but yeah. in high school growing up no. I think currently we would definitely be friends, but if we were growing up, we probably wouldn't even know each other existed. Did you guys fight a lot? No. Yes, over clothes. only about clothes. I actually was thinking about this last night. You I, only fought about clothes. We only, only fought, about clothes. fought about clothes. Only though, we but didn't it was fight like, about anything else ever. But were you just like on different? Like were you just like different? No, it was like we would keep track. So it was like <laughs> it, every time like someone would borrow something again, it would bring up like every single time she's borrowed something in the past and the record of like, well, you didn't ask three times ago, and then before that. She would be like, "Well, you didn't ask," and I was like, "Well, that's because you borrowed three yeah. of my things oh, and your that's friend borrowed." Oh my god, that's it was exhausting. Like, all like it was about though, notes yeah. Constantly. But that's it. Yeah, I've had like we have friends who are sisters, and they're always kind of surprised that we didn't fight about more or in general, just right. like fighting. Right. So we why didn't. do you think you wouldn't have been friends then? Um, we you, like didn't really talk a lot when we were. You guys just went <laughs> well, like high school, well, like I, outside of home life, right? I feel like we didn't like trust each other because it was still like the the betrayal of the clothes yeah, was no, ran so deep yeah. that it was like if I did something that could potentially get me in trouble, she would benefit from like tattling on me. Right. So it was like I because felt you're like, like mad about the and shirt, she, right. and vice versa. So it was like we just wouldn't even tell each other things. I feel like that that's like a common thing that happens with siblings. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't. Until like something happens where you're like in it together yeah. and you're like, if, you're kind of separate, right? Then all like you guys are playing against each other. Yeah. For a while. Until it, you're like, oh wait, we can come together and be right. like, or like you both do something and you're like, well, if you tell them, yeah. you're gonna get in trouble, and right. if I tell, I'm gonna get in trouble. And so we have like, to keep. Yeah, I feel are. like once I turned eighteen, like my favorite thing was like, you can't tell me what to do. I'm an adult now. Eighteen. Like, I'm an adult now. <laughs> Did really? Oh, I loved to use that. I didn't even because well, our even parents think I thought about it. Very strict. Honestly, our parents were s- really strict. Like what? How so? Oh, like not letting you guys go out and stuff. Strict, not letting or? us go out. It was a lot of like, we need to know the parents. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose That's house you're going same. to. Just like protective. need their phone numbers. Yeah. It was like, you know. But when you're that age, it's like, oh, you're it's so annoying. embarrassing. I'd rather like not even go. Right, like yeah. I can't I call can't, them just, and tell them my mom wants yeah. to talk to their mom. Yes, like yeah. it's yeah. mortifying when you're right. like 16. Right. Yeah. So I think that would just like mm-hmm. made me like built up this like tense like, oh my God, like always on on eggshells. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and then when you were 18, you were ready to just- Oh, I was just like, you can't tell me what to do. Yeah. That's crazy. (laughs) If I want to go to my friend's house right now and there's clothes on my floor, I'm going to do it. Oh! Damn. (laughs) That's pretty wild. I know. Were you still living at home when you were 18? I lived at home until I was 19. Okay. I think I was older. You moved out during COVID. Yeah. 
but you would stay a lot like she had friends yeah. in la so she would like go there for like i would drive weekends. there with like a suitcase yeah for the whole weekend or longer yeah and just drive back because where we are from is like 40 45 minutes yeah it's just a small town 45 small minutes. Town. just a really small yeah, quaint small super town. small yeah yeah no right one's really ever of heard of it. very small so. yeah but it's so. only 45 minutes away from here. <laughs> yeah. It's the like big super city. Small. <laughs> the big city. We would drive into town. Yeah. Drive into town. I do love saying into town. <laughs> Me too. I'm actually going into town that I'm day. So I can't. I say, everyone's I, like, are you going into no, town? No, I say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy. Daisy, I'm sorry I say into You're town. You're going into town, Daisy. You know, in Malibu, she's the friendliest dog you'll ever meet. Well, well, you, you picked town her up really in keeps her a little stressed out. <laughs> I get it. Being in a big, big city, city, being in the big city is stressful. Okay, so over the last few months, obviously things have looked very different having a newborn and I have a lot of things I want to get done and not a lot of time to do them. And I just feel like the things I'm prioritizing are Otis, obviously, and like my relationship with Cody and those kind of things. And when I have time, I want to make time for those. But I also need to eat and grocery shop and something that has made like my life so much easier is Thrive Market. Thrive Market is my go-to for all my grocery and household essentials. They are an online membership-based market that ships directly to your doorstep, and they are on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. They have truly been my lifeline, especially like I've used them for a while, but like especially during this newborn time. Thrive Market saves me so much time that would have been spent waiting in long grocery store lines or running out last minute, which you can't do anymore when you have a baby, for like just quick paper towels or whatever it is. They just saved me a lot of time. They are not only a time saver, but they have also saved me so much money. I have saved over 30% on my grocery bill by switching to Thrive Market. They are my go-to for all my grocery and household essentials. They have all of my favorite snacks, um, like the purely Elizabeth granola that I love. They have the bread that I love, the oat milk, Leafa oat milk that I love. And I get my collagen powder and my probiotic supplements on Thrive Market as well. They truly have all of the best snack options. I've said this for a long time, but like I've gotten some really delicious snacks off Thrive and they just have everything I need on a weekly basis in one spot. On top of saving 30% on my grocery bill, they also have a deal page that changes daily, gives me cash back on all my favorite brands and they have a price match guarantee. So they really make it easy to save money. And the cherry on top is that when you join Thrive Market, you are also helping a family in need with their one-for-one -one membership matching program. So you join and they give. Isn't that amazing? So join in on the savings with Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. Go to thrivemarket.com slash circle time for 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash circle time. Thrive market.com slash circle time. A little dog in the big city. Yeah, like Babe, the pig. You guys know, know what I'm talking about? What's yeah. the pig? Babe. God, I haven't watched. The pig in the, bi pig in the big city? <laughs> no, it's called Babe. Yeah, but it wasn't there like a spinoff? Mm, I don't actually familiar. know. It was a movie about a pig. Well, you okay. know, Charlotte's Web is also there's a pig shaking? in Charlotte's Web too. Yeah, right? isn't that Charlotte? <laughs> no, <laughs> Charlotte's the Charlotte's spider. 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 Does anybody know the name of the pig in Charlotte's Web? Yeah, let us know. Mm. Let us know, guys. Do you know Please. the name? Please. Of... Is it? Oh my God! What Wait, if they babe were... is in Charlotte's <laughs> Web? Wait what a if second. It was... <laughs> it's a crossover. It all See, comes back. <laughs> if it was a crossover and we had no <gasps> idea. <gasps> What is it? Wilbur. Wilbur. Oh, very oh, that's a cute name. name. Yeah, it is. Very Daisy kind of looks like a pig because one of her eyes are pink. Why is she, she shaking? Spots? She's always shaking. <laughs> she's just a little. Oh, on she's edge. hilarious. But I think she's I, shaking. I genuinely think I manifested her because I used to always say, <laughs> "Martin's so perfect. I I need a psycho dog where I can just be like, oh my god, she's fucking insane. Really? Like, really? Okay. Yes, because I was like kind of obsessed with the idea of having a crazy dog. And now I love you have. that. That's what I feel I about with Chili. <laughs> really? Because I'm like, I can't get another dog. Like Chili. He's too perfect. Mm -hmm. I love him too much. Like, I don't know what I would do yeah. with another dog. It's, but then I'm like. But you kind of want now, one. But I do want another It's one. honestly the best thing that's up. Like, I look at her too? and I just like want to cry. I know. I'm kind of getting him his own like form of a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, oh that's what I thought I was doing with the cats. Has Chili met babies before? 
Yeah, my best friend just had a baby like like Aww. a couple months ago. And so they came, they live in San Francisco. So yeah. they came and like stayed with us Aww. like a few weeks ago. Oh and he gosh. was such a sweet boy. Aww. But he didn't like when she cried. Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, Martin met my Jaylee's baby. Yeah. Monroe. Monroe. I always want to say it like the way Drew says it. Drew says Monroe. And we're like, it's Monroe. <laughs> I would probably say Monroe. <laughs> Monroe. Monroe. Wait, I don't know. I need to say it naturally, but I'd say I'd say Monroe. 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 That's Monroe. a really cute name. It's, it's such really a cute. cute name. Yeah. But Martin and Daisy both met her. Martin couldn't give her less attention. Like did not care <laughs> at all. Daisy was so curious. Really? But it's funny because Martin's like very smart like yeah honestly knows english whatever daisy yeah. like still chases her tail yeah. every single day no she'll go in circles on go the ground in circles really every yes. single day that's i think that's like a sign of like a crazy dog <laughs> yeah like, she's insane i think like unless they do it only when they're a puppy no, no. she's still doing yeah it. no circles she's, she's, she's kooky and she's always she's like, like crazy <laughs> shaking yeah. a little bit but she was left in someone left her in a box in bakersfield oh at the shelter just <laughs> woke up or someone like went into work Aww. and she was just in a box that's there r- by herself by herself <laughs> that's really sad like she didn't have any other siblings or anything with her it's okay. no. she was so when so you long. saw her you just knew she was the one well the description said was fostered with another older dog okay they got along really well okay and they said she's very playful and fun and like a sweet girl or whatever <laughs> and i met her I went to go meet her and they told me to bring Martin. So I brought Martin and they ignored each other the entire time. Okay. And I was like, thought that they were going to like at least be excited and whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the people at the rescue were like, that's good. Like, okay. They're not huh. trying to dominate each other. Yeah. yeah. So I ended up sleeping on it. And then the next day I was like, I can't stop thinking about her. Like, I just feel so like. Yeah. I just want her like <laughs> shaking. So I went and picked her up and then I was really overwhelmed at first. Yeah, honestly. I was going to ask how how it was getting back into the puppy oh, phase. Oh, God, I forgot. What yeah. It it's you can't leave the house. It's no, like, it's tough. And she eats like everything. everything. Really? Like, she ate bees. She's eaten like I stopped oh, smoking no. weed because of her, honestly. Really? Yes, because she would <laughs> Fiend for it, like no matter where I hid it, put it away. She, she would, would smell try it, try to find it, and I would like be or taking someone it out was of her. over. Someone was over. Like, I was literally having room. to like stand over anyone. Who She'll was, run like, to it. She's like she's obsessed with weed. Yes. yes, that's crazy. She's obsessed. Crazy. <laughs> but so I you had to her. stop smoking. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sad. I need. I needed to stop. I okay. was smoking a lot. Well, <laughs> but you know that's not she's a, lot, a blessing in disguise. Yeah, I know. She's she's a really good teacher. I've obsessed. learned a lot from her. Yeah, that's kind of beautiful. She's mm-hmm. like yeah. your straight edge dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. get she's the like, drugs out of here, mom. <laughs> she's like, what, mom? <laughs> but she's so sweet. Like she she's... is more attached to me oh. currently than Martin. Is, is that like, her? Was yeah. that her? <laughs> you? I was like, oh, I'm sad. When I take a shower, <laughs> she sits outside the shower the entire time and just waits for me. Like she's Aww. my shadow. She follows me around all day that's sweet. it's kind of nice to have that yeah she's a really good girl she's i mean it's like me i feel like i i like want that like i'm like i want a dog who's like that's my mom yeah. it's truly like we good will go with anyone like oh, if i was like aw. driving down the street and there was like someone walking on the sidewalk i could like be like there go chili and no. he would just be like okay <laughs> He just Aww. loves people, but I'm like, Aww, what about? I want like, you to like really yeah. love me, though. Be obsessed. She's like yeah. the first person that I like. Like Martin, I could literally have him on no leash, and he'd be like so fine and yeah. not doing anything. But she's like just unpredictable. Still, mm-hmm. I yeah. always am. But she's getting better. She's getting a lot better, and it's funny because a lot of people are like. She's so good for a one year old. I could never take my dog. And I'm like, really? Because I feel like she's insane. <laughs> I feel like she's a good girl. She's, she's just a, a little girl. like she's just a little like on edge sometimes. Yeah. And aren't she's we all so, totally? Yeah, she's really cute color she's on. she does. She looks like really chic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's my perfect baby. When's the third dog coming? Ugh, Ooh. God, I can't even. Gonna think get about one it. big one. I, you know what? I, I would love that, but I just don't know if i have it in me yeah sometimes i think about getting a big dog and then i'm like 
It's yeah. a lot of big poops. It's a lot yeah. of big poops. It's yeah. a lot of like running and like wearing out the dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like they wear get worn out so easily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Chili just kind of like trots Aww, around yeah. and then he's tired. I love yeah. Great Danes though. Me I too. Loves I, great Danes. Love I like love great Danes. I've only always loved bulldogs. Like those are my dogs. Those right. are the only dogs I like love. Right. Would you ever get one? Sydney's kind of scared of dogs. Are you? I I I guess not of all dogs like right. I'm, but I just uh, like bulldogs any bulldog I see I, I will like cry <laughs> you should but get one great Danes lately I like really love oh that's sweet and they're really sweet they like, are you know every great Dane is sweet they're just like big they're beautiful like they're gorgeous oh, yeah what kills me though is that they, they don't, don't live, live long I know which, I know yeah and bulldogs are a lot of work. Like, yeah. So much work. Like, yeah. I'll get one when I have a husband. Yeah. That makes sense. To help. My oh. parents have one who I love so much. Right. And she's so much work. She's a cutie. It's like having a baby. Okay. Pumpkin. 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 She's the best. My the friend best has pumpkin. a cat named Pumpkin. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. They should meet. Soul sister. Does Hi. Tilly like your new house? He does. I think he's like just... He's kind of just happy wherever. <laughs> but yeah, he likes it. There's like more room for him to like run around and yeah. stuff outside. Although there are like coyotes. I know. So he's like usually on his leash. Yeah. Because I'm just like really not. I know. Willing. How's decorating the new house? It's good. We got an interior. Like you we're did? working with an interior designer. <gasps> What's your inspo? I could show you. I'd love to see it. I want to see. What's the vibe? It's like kind of going to be kind of. Kind of crazy. Ooh, really? Yeah. It's going to be fun. That. We're like really. Oh my gosh. Our last place we loved, but it like just didn't really feel like us. Uh-huh. And like we just mm-hmm. want it to be like fun and yeah, mm-hmm. funky and stuff. Nursery too? <laughs> yeah, everything. <gasps> wow. So they're like getting started soon. But we oh have gosh. to. We found like mold. So we have to like live in the guest house mm. for a bit. I had mold in my house Stuff when like I that. It. It's the worst. The worst. I couldn't move in for like. A month and a half or something. Yeah, they have to like take out some walls and stuff. Oh my God. So owning a house is so it's a lot. Yeah. But it's rewarding. It is. I put up Christmas lights for the first time this oh year. Oh my God. My first time ever. Did you do it yourself? No. <laughs> I was gonna say I could never have it up there. Like, I hired yeah. someone who comes and puts them up and then takes them down. Oh my God, that's it's amazing. Genius, it's honestly. Genius. That's such a good like they probably amazing. do so well. Yeah. Make so much money. Yeah. Oh, and it yeah. Took, like, it was like two hours they were at my house. Wow. So and like, worth and then it, it's honestly. so worth it. And then the lights just make you oh so my God. happy. And also, I don't have to like store, like keep right. the lights right, right, or anything. Right. Yeah. And if a bowl breaks, like they yeah. handle everything. Right. Wow. But yeah. my inspo was, you know, how in like El Coyote, there's like the whole ceiling is like. Yeah. Yes, I Christmas do. Lights. Yes. There's like a half open and then half covered like entry yes 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 thing. yes i wanted lights strung that's pretty so pretty so i did that i love that it's I really love pretty no one will Christmas. see it because my house is behind the gate on the hill but well, i see it you see it that's all that matters <laughs> that's all that matters i know makes you happy mm-hmm. I, it was the same with like getting trick-or-treaters i was like oh my god i wonder if i could did get- you get any <laughs> So. You know what? That's okay. Kids aren't trick or treating. Like I have uh, hiking. <laughs> I, I, our street like doesn't get any trick or treaters either. And I was like, I'm gonna say that this is a good thing because then when I have kids, like we won't have to. Right. I won't have to like miss out on giving other kids candy, but I can still take them yeah. trick or treating. Yeah. yeah. Well, Duke grew up in Santa Monica, and he would tell me that like they would always go to like a certain neighborhood. Yeah, that yeah, was like yeah, yeah. decked yeah. out. Like right. there's certain streets right, that you certain, go to. Yeah, definitely still is. I had in a Laurel crazy King, a a Halloween experience this my, year. Yes, my friend lives on a really flat street okay. up in the hills. Like it's the flattest street up there or something. Okay. So on Halloween, they shut down the street, and there's bars. Everyone is outside of their house in their front lawn. Everyone is dressed up like everyone decorates like the whole. It's like a block so party. It's a fun. full block party. Like at one point, we we're like getting through the crowd, Excuse like shoulder to shoulder. Really? Kids everywhere. Oh my god, that's so fun! Everyone has candy set up. It was like a huge. The community thing. does it. They like block it off. Yeah, with, every like, year. That's amazing. And she just kids. moved there, and we were like. Holy shit! See, like, like that's so fun. I would want to go, but I I feel like I would do a bad job. Like 
being one of the she houses. Say, right. so, you have yeah, to like, like you have in. to right. They were post mating more candy because yeah, they like, ran non-stop. out. They got notes like That's stays crazy. leading up. The neighbors leave notes on everyone. So yeah, like, she's coming to, up. You like, have to decorate. Can you imagine like, like you just find like a house that you really like, and like, <laughs> and then you're like locked and into you just this like hole. are not spirited at all, and you just have to like participate in this. You thing. have to. Yeah. Part of signing the leases, yeah, yeah. you agree to. <laughs> That's crazy. It was a huge deal. Wow, that's awesome. It was awesome. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that next year. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that sounds fun. Yeah. Thanks for the Halloween tips. <laughs> yeah, of course. Problem. Problem. We're pretty much almost done. Oh. Time just flies when you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, geez. I do have one <gasps> thing. Oh. I got my book. Okay, so we do like journal questions. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah. But there's like random questions for kids basically, but like Cute. you get to answer them. But I was running out of questions, and so I found this book. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So now you guys can work together <gasps> to pick out a date, okay. and then I'll ask you the question from the date. Okay. okay. What date should we pick? Um, should we pick Halloween since we were just talking about it? No. How about <laughs> you pick a month, and I'll pick a day? Okay. July. 14th. July 14th. <laughs> See? Teamwork. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. You guys should like, you guys should have like a company together. <laughs> We've Wait, about it. what? <laughs> okay, <gasps> this is a good one. Uh oh. What is your favorite smell and why? Oh, wow. Fresh cookies. <laughs> That's actually really great. Um, wait, I have a few. Can I keep going? Yeah, of there's course. there's this <laughs> uh, no, there's this fragrance. <laughs> okay, it's like a essential oil. Okay, it's called Faith Oil. Oh, oh my, my god! Really? I literally like it is insane. Wait, really? You guys are like, you guys are both no. We're like, it's like both it's like really in this. It's like sixty dollars for, for a like, cube, like this big, and mm-hmm. it's called Faith Oil. Yes. Should I get some? You Absolutely. need okay. the faith. It changes a little bit to everyone who wears yes, it. Of yes, of course. Like that There's way. always Yeah, that. so she And uh-huh. it is just it's, It reminds me of Malibu, honestly. Really? It feels okay. Francesca wears you need it. it. Okay. And she's the queen of Malibu. Yeah. So. Yep. You need it. It's amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. faith oil. Faith oil. That's a good one. Yeah. What's yours? I'm thinking like... I started imagining smelling like incense. So like those. I do. I actually <laughs> love incense. I so love incense really too. Incense. Yeah. When it starts to get like sunset, which is now like literally 3 p.m. Right. That's when I light the incense. Like, yeah, I kind of want to. So I want to start like involving incense in it, my You feel home. so like, like put together almost. Yeah. You're like, I feel like it together yeah, right now. It's really important. Like switching like up the lighting right when like. Yes. It, like yeah, I love doing. I need doing... to start doing that more it like often. changes oh your mood yeah it like helps yeah. with your like i do vibe wake up and i mm-hmm. open all of the blinds in my house i like make sure the dishes are all done i like have like my morning set up yeah 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 and then when we go into nighttime it's like turn down service yeah oh my turn god down service. I like start really light, doing that certain shit. Lights, yeah, yeah, turn yeah. on certain lamps so then every and incense you like walk yep. into a room and you're like i want to hang out in here yeah, yeah. Okay, it's I'm gonna start special, curating but that also, like, in my home. The smell of like cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah. Like yes, that and the candle. I know they have candles that are like holiday and right. Not everyone loves like holiday scented well, or like. I just think like not. Candles. It doesn't always smell, it doesn't smell like, the same. Like fresh baked cinnamon rolls. Yeah, it smells like fake fake cinnamon, cinnamon. rolls. Yeah, so we good. want the real stuff. Exactly. Yeah, real deal. All right. Well. Thank you guys so much for joining us <laughs> Thank again. Thank you for having we us love again. having you on. Come on anytime. <gasps> You're always welcome here. Don't say oh. that to us. I mean it. Oh, we'll be here every week. Okay. Um, well, thank you guys. <laughs> and that's it. Do you guys want to tell the circlers like where they can circlers. find you? Hey, circlers. circlers. What are your Instagrams? Um, my Instagram is Devin Lee Carlson. <laughs> I'm a little lost on there right now. So That's okay. That's okay. With I've Grace. never been. That I've never been okay. found. Okay. <laughs> on Instagram, I'm always lost on Instagram. <laughs> Every day, I think I figure it out, and then the next day, I'm like vibe switch. You know I don't what? Think I like That's, what I've been doing. That's and then okay. I'm like, Actually, I That's love it. The beauty. Of Actually, it. it's amazing. Keep, it's keep, genius. Actually, I hate it is it. amazing and genius. Every time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll I'll start hyping it. you up on there more often. <laughs> I'll start hyping yeah. you up on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. This is <laughs> so good. This is the best post post I've thing. ever seen. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank God I follow you. <laughs> That's going to be my next comment. Yeah, same. 
<laughs> Sid. Oh, my Instagram is Sydney Lynn Carlson. Beautiful. And how are you feeling on there? I'm feeling oh, okay. Yeah, she's she's yeah, scheduled be, out yeah. every you're, Sunday. Oh, you're food scheduled. Post. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like those helped me get in a routine. Like, yeah. You know, Sydney's food posts are on TikTok. Are they also every on Instagram? Every Sunday, Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Yeah, every Sunday. So look out for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And obviously go buy like a wildflower case. Yeah, wildflower cases is our company that we have with <laughs> our parents. parents. I was going to say mom, but dad <laughs> is also involved. Very involved. So yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right. Well, thank yeah. you guys. I love you both so <gasps> much. Love you so, so much. You so and I much. love all of you. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Please note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.